so many wagons and people crying there and children crying and soldiers pushing, everybody soldiers were pushing and beating people, you know, and that was frightening. I grew up as a child in New Zealand in a really safe and secure, really happy childhood. But when I went to school, I felt really different. Not only that, I knew that my mother was different. She was Polish. As I grew older, I wanted to find out my mother's story. I wanted to know her as a person. And I, I talked to her about her life and what had happened when she was deported from Poland. Russian authorities told us there's no God. Lenin, Stalin is actually the boys to listen to. Nobody knew what was happening. She said to me, remember, child, that you are a Pole. Never forget where you come from. Everybody was so hungry. Malnutrition, malaria, typhus. For me, that was the first contact with death. When we arrived in Tehran, myself and my two brothers, we were taken to a hospital. After a few weeks, we were taken to what was known as the Polish Civilians Camp Number 5. I remember my mother saying that every day there were lists put up about who was going where because they, that was only a temporary refuge. And then one day, her name was on the list to go to New Zealand. Thing was, we're going somewhere and it was lovely. Being a Paul, you know, and not understanding New Zealanders and all this, I understood them very well, but they didn't understand me. <laughs> <laughs> 